Welcome to Caring Modern Dentistry with Ann Kreitz. Ann, so many people out there today have gum disease. They do. What is gum disease? Well, gum disease is a breakdown of what we call the periodontium, which is actually everything that supports the teeth. So we're talking about the teeth, we're talking about the gum that go around the teeth, and we're talking about if you could take your gum and kind of pull it away, the bone underneath there that supports it. So we're talking about everything that supports your teeth. Are people aware that they have it? You know, Debbie, it's funny, they're not. Typically, they're not aware because it's not a painful thing mm -hmm. um, for the most part. It would have to be very severe for it to be painful. You're, you're gradually losing bone and you don't know that. You don't feel it happening. Um, periodontal disease can progress for a long time and be what we call chronic. Uh, it just lingers on and on and on and it's not usually painful. Uh, what are the signs though? I mean, bleeding gums or anything like that? Yes, bleeding gums will be your number one. If you're bleeding, if you bleed when you brush your teeth, bleeding gums is the number one thing. Persistent bad breath. Patients don't recognize or realize why they have bad breath, but gum disease, um, there's a lot of bacteria that live in our mouths, yeah. and those bacteria are putting off byproducts which have an odor. So persistent bad breath is definitely one. Bleeding gums is another one. Swollen gums. Your gums will start to swell just like any sore. Mm -hmm. um, you will begin to have bone loss, which you won't be aware of that, but um, those are really the key ones. Bleeding when you brush, persistent bad breath. Um, eventually it could turn to some, somewhat of a little bit of pain, but not typically. What causes it? Uh, that's a good one. It is caused by um, food debris that we eat that is left over in our mouth and the bacteria that are living in our mouth, which form plaque, and most people have heard of plaque. The term for us as dental professionals, that's called biofilm. So it's a plaque biofilm, and actually what tartar is, is plaque that sat on the teeth too long and wasn't removed properly by brushing and flossing, and so now that plaque has turned to tartar, but it actually calcifies itself and turns to tartar, and that's what, what starts the process. Oh, that's a scary thought. Yeah, <laughs> that's what starts the process, yeah. Well, we've talked about the warning signs with the bleeding of the gums and stuff. What do we do about it? Well, the first thing you do, obviously, is see the dentist, and that's why going regularly is so important, because we can prevent this gum disease from progressing. We can catch it early on, and the first things that we would do would be, again, back to x-ray. We would take a set of x-rays, make sure that our bone level is where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to check your gums. We're going to make some measurements of your gums to see how far has the progression gone down into the bone, and then we're going to clean all that plaque and tartar out of there for you, put some medication in your gums, and we're going to get a really good response. And that's usually the first steps to, to getting uh, gum disease under control. Can it be cured? It can't really be cured, Debbie. That's a good question, and that's what really throws people. You can't really cure it, but you can maintain it and stop it. We can't ever bring the bone back. However, with the prog uh, progress that we're making in dentistry, eventually we're, be we're now being able to start to learn to put in more, more bone, but typically you don't cure it, you get it to a maintained stable and then you just keep maintaining it. So people really need to take action and, and watch what's going on in their own mouth. They do, and be aware of these signs early on and go right away, don't wait. The longer you wait, the more the disease progresses and the more it costs you to repair it. Thank you, Ann. You're welcome. That's Caring Modern Dentistry in Reedsville, North Carolina.